Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> Today is a day that ends in Y, and just like every other day that ends in Y, feminists are mad at something or someone, and today that something is Star Wars, specifically The Mandalorian, the last episode that we had, Chapter 11, we saw Bo-Katan for the first time in live action, and it was really cool, a lot of us liked that, but not the feminist, no, no, this lady caused a big Twitter storm, and a lot of people in general apparently were upset by this, and, and I would say it's a very vocal minority, but she put out a tweet saying, Lady Mandalorians have boob armor. Oh, come on, seriously. And I just love the comment that uh, followed up right after that says, Boys just love the F out of boob armor. Fellas, your arguments as to why it's necessary are bad. Just say the truth. You like the way they look. Yes, some will judge you for that, but definitely less so than for bad faith debates. So, that's how Twitter works normally if you disagree with almost anything, literally anything, that people on the uh, <coughs> left think, then, you know, you're wrong and it's a bad faith debate. I just do find it funny that <laughs> it's because, apparently we put boob armor, is it's because we're attracted to boob armor, I, I guess, and it's not because, you know, I, I don't know if they knew this, women do have boobs, um, and some are bigger than others, some are smaller than others, some women are what you consider to be flat-chested, maybe not need the armor that Bo-Katan and, and Sasha Banks' character are wearing right there in that image. It doesn't seem to be a problem up until now, of course, because, you know, it's 2020, I think if we all remember correctly, in the Clone Wars, Bo-Katan had literally the exact same armor that she's wearing now. She had that in Clone Wars, she had that in Rebels, but of course, these people aren't Star Wars fans, so they didn't know about women having, I guess, what we call boob armor now, back then. I mean, is, is this a bad thing? Is this, I don't think this was ever sexualizing any woman in Star Wars by wearing armor. I mean, that... I truly don't understand what's going on or what the problem is here with this boob armor thing. I don't think any guy... It is kind of funny how it seems like feminists are sexualizing these things when I think most guys would not. Where, like, as a guy, I watch this episode, I see Bo-Katan show up, and I'm like, Ah, Mandalorian. Armor. Nice. And <laughs> these feminists look at this, and they go, Oh, a woman. Oh, oh, boobs. Oh, boob armor. Outrage. I mean, <laughs> come on. What, what's the big idea here? What, what's the What's the problem? All right, I think Gina Carano's character, Cara Dune, had armor around her chest, and I don't think that was a big ordeal. I, I don't think it was as uh, noticeable, if you will, as the Bo-Katan armor. I, I mean, I just want to know where the goalposts are for these kind of situations, because as someone who watches boxing and MMA, there are female fighters, and that was a big deal when Ronda Rousey came to the UFC and she started fighting for the first time. You know, all the women, of course, wore, like, sports bras. Is that boob armor? Are we supposed to be outraged by that? Why are the women having to wear sports bras, but the men not? We all know some big boy like Jabba the Hutt who has boobs bigger than some women, but he's not wearing boob armor. So so what's going on? Is, is Star Wars now sexist for protecting the boobs of Bo-Katan? I think boob lives matter too, don't you? Save the boobs. There's that big movement, free the nipple. Well, I disagree. I say save the nipple. That's, that's Star Wars only, 2020. I mean, how could Kathleen Kennedy let something so clearly sexist happen in The Mandalorian, the greatest Star Wars show of all time? I mean, we went from everyone being mad about Baby Yoda eating frogs, <laughs> eating like little frog eggs, to now, next week, we're mad about, oh, well, there's armors that are protecting boobs. Didn't the armor from Season 1 also have, like, a chest plate? Was there no outrage about that when that season came out? I just don't understand how these narratives are formed. It's like this lady woke up today and was like, you know what? What do I want to be mad about today? Today is the age of outrage and anything someone could get triggered or upset about, they will and believe me, they can for the smallest and dumbest of reasons like boob armor. That, that's a deal now. You can't have boob armor anymore, guys. I am sorry to the female audience. I am sorry to females out there who have boobs. You are either no longer allowed to have those boobs, or you are going to have to stuff those things into armor that probably is going to be uncomfortable. Equality means that you have to suffer just as much as the men do now, if not worse, because, you know, if we don't have boobs, we don't have to worry about boob armor. But since you have boobs, we're not going to give you boob armor anymore, because you got to get what the men get, right? It's all about equality. 
But I, Star Wars only, do not look at Bo-Katan in a sexual way and look at her as a woman with boob armor. I see her as a strong and powerful character, and I think we, the Star Wars fan, need to start a new movement. Boob lives matter. Save the boobs, save the armor, because it's not fair that these women out here are being sexualized by these feminists who just want to body shame these women in their beautiful, beautiful armor that happens to adhere to the boobs because women have those because of biology. But hey, what do I know? I am just a white male. Anyways, tell me your thoughts below. Do boob lives matter? Are you trying to save the boob? Or do you think we should get rid of boob armor? Tell me your very controversial thought that the feminists will not like in the comment section below. I am Star Wars Only. I will see you all next time. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe because it does about the channel. Until next time, my friends, boob lives matter.